Welcome back. This is Duty Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest is one of um, the evicted housemates from the just the ongoing, it's not concluded, mm -hmm. ongoing Big Brother Niger house, um, Eric. Hi, Eric. What up? Hey. How you doing? Welcome. Hi. I'm good. I'm awesome. How is good celebrity life treating you? Um, a bit different from before I went to the house. Life mm. is better. It's good. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's nice. Okay, so um, tell us, how has it been with the media rounds asking the same questions? Because we know the type of questions that's been following you. How has that been? Are you liking the impression that you have created from the house? Are you good with the type of fame that has been attached to your name? Um, I feel like um, the media rounds, first of all, it's been monotonous. After the first two, three days, mm. it does the same question. So it's just like, I'm repeating my answer, just saying the same things. Yeah. And yeah, um, I felt like in the house, the things I'm known for is just from the three weeks I was there, people know me for two things, and that's just um, fitness and eating. So, so, <laughs> so yeah, so what they know me for is not a lie. It's mm. like that's how that's who I am. Okay. I work out and I eat to stay fit. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, like you said, um, they've been asking the same questions, but I don't know if you've been asked this, right? A lot of big brother evictees always blame um, their eviction or their failure on other people. Like you also said that Lilo was a distraction to you. Do you think that Lilo was your distraction or you were the one who lost focus of your strategy? Um, I didn't lose focus of my strategy, yeah? Because my strategy going into the house was to sell myself the most as I could. So... Um, I feel like I did that to an extent, given the time I was in the house. Mm. So, you know, I just wanted people to know what I'm known for. That's um, fitness. That's why you see me in the house um, doing the morning workout sessions. You see me um, dingying all the guys, making them do their most, doing the workouts. Mm. And, yeah, so I don't feel like I was distracted. I just felt like the but relationship kind of happened earlier Lilo. than I thought. You kind of blamed Lilo in an interview that she was a distraction to you. Did you say that? I didn't say she was a distraction. So, um, the interviewer told me she said I was a distraction. I was like, yeah, I was a distraction to her because she loved. She left the first day, and no one wants to leave on the first the first eviction night. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so um, tell me more about what we can be looking at. Would you be having maybe your own um, company, or is it like a gym? Like what exactly? Because I know fitness is quite deep not not okay, actually don't know i don't work out but i can imagine that there's a lot more that, <laughs> there's a lot more that goes into that I'll, 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 I'll work on it um but there's more that goes into it nutrition and all that type of stuff so what exactly um should we be looking for um first of all i'm a bodybuilder and a power lifter so it should be more okay. of <laughs> so it should be more of <laughs> <laughs> so it should be more of um, you seeing from me how to like do the major compound lifts with the right techniques and how to eat enough, how to eat enough to like get bigger. Because you see most people look at me and see my throwbacks. Because when I was younger, I was, I was a skinny guy. So when they see that and see me now, they're always like surprised. Like, how do you do it? How do you do it? I'm like, it's not magical. Like I like that you brought I that up. I like that you brought that up because I remember watching you in the house and you, you were eating, of course. Um, Always. <laughs> and you were having a conversation, I think it was with Tochi and I think Tricky T was next to you. And you guys, were, you, were, you were mentioning how you used to be very shy when you were much younger and then you started to work out and you felt more comfortable. Like you could feel like you could go into any place and hold your head high. Um, obviously, that helps with the house because we couldn't see you without your shirt off. But do you think that that has then maybe, this is me assuming now, clarify me if I'm wrong, but maybe you have, um, will I say, leaned too much in that regard and maybe you didn't push out more in the show, anything else other than your body, if that makes sense. Do you understand my question? Um, I don't think so because the fact that it's what I do, like that's how... It's one of besides going to school and um, trying to get a BSc, a degree, like and my day job, like fitness is what I do. So the fact that I put it out there, I don't think it was um it was a mistake. That's what I wanted to do, and I think I did that. Okay, so right. as someone who is a big fan of fitness, um, what mm -hmm. would you say is the difference between working out for bodybuilding and then working out just to keep fit? Um, working out to keep fit um, is practically the same thing. 
you get working if you work out and you do more of cardio then you're like a fitness a fit farm mm -hmm. then working out to get big mm -hmm. is different because that involves all the aesthetics the sit-ups the lifting the heavy weights oh. so it's just um two different sides of fitness okay i've asked this question to a few of the other housemates that we've been opportune to interview would you say that coming out of the house now you have come out with some real friends that even when they're out and the show is over, you would still want to, you know, keep a relationship with those people. And then the opposite, have you also maybe had people that you know for sure that you and this person don't really gel and that you're okay if you don't talk to the person again? And I need names, please. Don't give me any PR answer. Um, if you watch the show, you notice that I never got into a fight with anybody. I feel like I'm on good terms with everyone in the house. Right. So when, I can't even wait for everyone for the show to be over and all of us to link up again and just, you know, talk about it and chill. So, but I feel like people are closest to uh, Neo and Ozo, right. regards to the guys. And the ladies, I feel maybe Watoni, Nengi. I feel, I feel I had a fairly good relationship, maybe below average good relationship with almost everyone in the house. Mm. So, yeah. All right. All right so, um, I, know, I know you also said it yourself that the hate when you came out of the house was quite much, right? But um, do you think it it was, the hate, like people hated you when you came out of the house a bit? Nah, I much, never said that, in bro. As much as, well, well, okay, all right. So you go into an entanglement, an entanglement with a girl that was in a relationship, right? Uh, how did you feel about that, knowing that we are very protective about our girls? Was it, the thing, was it a thing of me, the best man win, or you just wanted to, was that part of your game plan? No, it wasn't. It wasn't part of my game plan, you know. It's just something that happened, and when it happened, I just felt like um, if everything goes as I planned, as we wanted, it was something I could pursue outside the house. But when I came out, things weren't the way I thought they would be, so it just had to end that way. Mm. Okay, unfortunately, that's how much we can take. Thank you, Eric, for being our guest on this episode. Okay, thank you, Plus TV, for having me. Right. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Okay, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter at plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washington yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.